Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Well, here I am again. So if you call, recall, a few weeks ago, I did a, a video on uh, the switch here. I'm sure you recognize that switch, right? Let me come in here. There was a stack in here, and I came in, and I just touched a cable, and it started working or I looked at it or something. Well, it stopped working again. So I am going to replace it this time. So it ran from there, that top port right there, which maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see the top port. And then it runs up here to this fiber patch panel and is patched in over here. So what I am going to do, sorry for the poor photography, is replace the fiber that with uh, this type of connector it's going to be the same type but just a different style i guess i should say it's going to be replaced with uh, here this style so there's still lc's but it's just a different style this one i believe i've already tried using that one and it did not work so I've got a brand new one in the package that I'm going to replace this with. So, sorry, I don't have a fancy camera. Just have a phone. So this guy here, set you down so I can open this package up. And get this guy going. Pop this guy out. Got a couple of twist ties here that hold the uh, connectors in place. Get rid of those. Yeah, that's kind of a dee dee doo. Do Alright, pull this one off. So I'm not going to route this one super nicely. I'm just going to stick it on and let it run for a little bit and see if it works. So there we go. Different different style of connector. Old, they're LC to LC, but um, it's not the push pull connector. Um, it's the uh, squish the tabs down type of connector. I'm sure somebody out there smarter than me knows uh, what these are actually called. So they got a couple little dust caps here on the end. You got to pull off to use it, and uh, then there we go. And okay, yeah, I got poor wireless in here too so I should have probably plugged my laptop in it keeps going on and offline so let me I don't think there's any place I can set this in here where you can watch so let me put you on pause for just a minute while I put this on and then I'll show you what I did okay so here's the old cable you can see it's got a different kind of uh, where are you there you are over here it's got a different kind of connector on it you push it in and then to remove it, you just kind of pull, and then just pulling on it causes these little locking tabs here to be depressed. So you push it into the latch it and just pull on this back shell to pull it out. Um, these have been remarkably failure prone in my experience. So I got the new one in. I got to make another label like that to put on it. This label basically tells me what switch it was on and what port and where it goes what's on the other end and how it gets there you know what's the what's the cable routing so I gotta make another one of these cables I forgot to bring the label maker with me so so ooh. all right let's go here I'll go in here and I'll show you what I did Okay, so I replaced this top cable here. See, there's only one light blinking because probably I created a link flap when I pulled it. And we just have, it's just sitting here loose. Comes up over in here. Goes over to that end one right there. So let's go back over here. I'm going to check the uh, switch that this guy's connected to, and I'm probably going to find that it's 
down due to a link flap. So let me set you down again. And, uh, someone watch me work. Yes, this is my Linux laptop again. For those of you who notice such things. Um, so this is the switch that we're on. But do you show sharing? Yeah, it shows that one's. There's uh, three three ports that are active and one that's ready, which means it's down. So let me pull up my other switch. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Switch two. out of there okay so what I normally do is show interface gig state type it to include link flap I just put link for short that's not showing there's any link flap so what is the problem I wonder if I have to roll that cable. So I put a new cable in. This switch right here, which you probably can't see very well, this orange switch way down here, that tiny little dot, uh, that's still showing us down. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if I can tell on this one or not. These are rolled. Okay, that one, so I'm just flattening the cable out and looking at it. So on the flat. No, because it twists everywhere, I won't be able to tell. So what I'm going to do is just go over there and uh, try to roll these two, um, these two fibers. So I'm going to swap the two sides because it's showing down hard. And the other end is not showing a link flap. So let's go back and look at the switch. Uh, three, that's port 351, show port 351, no refresh. Yeah, it just shows it's enabled and ready. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna swap the uh, cables, and, or flip the fibers, and we'll see what happens. Be right back. No, I don't have anywhere to put the phone, so I'll be right back. All right, now let's check. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna show the port status of this guy again. Okay, now you can see before it was ready, enabled ready, port 351, port 351, enabled active 10 gig. So, let's do show sharing. And there, you can see that all four ports are now active. And uh, that bad boy was bouncing up and down. It's like over a thousand uh, link up transitions. Time, make sure that's not incrementing. Show. Sorry, I'm thinking slow. Receive errors. Uh, I'm not seeing any receive errors. Um, let's do transmit errors. I, I've never seen transmit errors. There's transmit errors. None. So let's escape that. Check this command again. It should show me nothing. So let me do uh, one more here. Um, what port is that? Hang on a second. I can I see it up. It's green. Uh, Again, if you guys don't know, this uh, software here is called Intermapper. 
Okay, 351 goes to port 32 on the core. Show interface gig state 3 slash 2. There you go, up up. So normally what I do in the mornings when I come in, I'll do that command you saw, show interface gig state, then I'll pipe it through, include uh, link flap. And it'll show me the, the links that are down due to a link flap. And then what I'll do is just switch, you know, go into config mode, switch over to that interface, do shut, no shut, that's called bouncing the interface. I'll bounce the interface and it'll come up. It might stay up for a couple of weeks. It might go down immediately. This one was going down immediately, which told me, okay, there's something wrong. And when I, when I SSH'd into this switch that, we're, that I'm working on, it showed that it was hard down. It wasn't a link flap. So it wouldn't come back up. So yeah, you can see now there are two happy blinky lights there and I'm gonna leave this just like this for now till I go back and get my label maker and I'll make a new label and come back and label it and it'll be done so oh well I, you know what I've got this other cable here that I'm wearing fashionably around my neck I can show you exactly what I did so you'll know what I'm talking about so Here's how these guys are clipped together, and I'll try to show you as best I can. So when I say I have to roll them, and they're, they're marked, you can see which one's which. There's a yellow band on one and a white band on the other. So on this one, if you're looking at the clip side, <laughs> the clip side, uh, the white band is on the left side of the clip, and the yellow band is on the right side of the clip. So. Yeah, uh, tell you what I did. So you kind of, man, I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this. I'll try my best, not have my fat fingers in the way. You push up on this little, yeah, that's not working. There's a little side clip here. You push this clip on the side that way. Let me push it up a little bit and just rock it like halfway out. Let's see what I do. So you push that clip up and then you can kind of roll the fiber out of it there's the clip fully seated seated and there's the clip kind of rocked up half out of the way so you take it you just pull it out flip them over and you take them and i don't know if this is the harder part or the easier part you kind of push against the top side of that clip and for me, it works best to get the bottom side. In. Well, heck, how does it work best for me? There is no best way. I think I have to do it this way. Basically, push it up against that clip. And with a lot of cursing and hurt fingers, it will, at some point, uh, slide back in there. There's really no easy way to do it. So anyway, that's what I did. I, that's how I rolled those two. So there you go. I'm just going to keep watching this guy. Let me check it again. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going I'm to get out of my core switch here because I don't need to be there anymore. Exit. And, uh, I can see that it's still green. It is that guy there you guys can see that or not I'm not going to show you too much um, let's check the uh, port sharing yep it's still up so I'm going to do um, sure. counters just show port statistics To, there we go, 351. Go ahead and clear the counters out by pressing letter zero. 
Okay, now I'll just keep watching them. So if I look at uh, sharing, everything's at zero. Which so it's going to make my <laughs> it's going to make uh, Intermapper go crazy. This thing in a minute is going to turn red, and these these interfaces are all going to light up because I, I see <laughs> because it doesn't understand what's happened. It, it's used to counting upwards, and it's now had to count down, and now it's saying, "Hey, there's something wrong. I don't know what to do." And then in a in a minute or two, everything will go back to good. So. All right, guys, that's all I got for this week. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if so desired, and um, keep those prayer requests coming in. I did do a short video. Um, well, by this time, it's going to be a few weeks ago. I'll try to do those every time a new prayer request comes in. I'll post a short uh, so that everybody knows who to pray for. Uh, in addition, I'll be praying as well. So keep those prayer requests coming. Um, we'll see you guys all next week. God bless everybody.